hello everyone that's just joining us for another kitten cam. This is our second week this year doing our kitten live streams on Wednesday lunchtimes. Um, we are currently live from our National Cat Adoption Centre in Sussex. And if you joined us last week, we're actually back with the same litter this week. Um, these guys are now six weeks old. So in the pen today, we've got Elliot, who is who you can currently see there, black and white. We've also got, he's got one brother, Michael, and two sisters, and they're tortoiseshells. So both the boys in this litter are actually black and white, and both of the girls are tortoiseshell. Um, one's a slightly darker, darker tortoiseshell than the other. We've got Mary and Gertie that make up the rest of this litter. And the team couldn't believe it when we came in today how much these guys have grown in just one week. They look like completely different kittens already. They're growing up so fast. <laughs> so thank you to everyone that's joining us just to get a little bit of your kitten fix on this Wednesday lunchtime. I like to think some of you might be sat at your desks at work needing a little break from the monotony of work and that we can provide a little entertainment and also some useful information. Um, what we thought we'd talk about this week is our very useful kitten checklist um, that we have available uh, on the Cats Protection website. It's been created in um, collaboration with lots of other animal charities um, and it's a really useful checklist um, for if you're looking at, specifically if you're looking at buying a kitten, getting a kitten from a breeder, maybe through a friend of a friend. Um, as we know, this is kitten season, and um, although these kittens um, are in our care, and obviously there are plenty of kittens and cats to be adopted, we do recognize that if people are set on getting a kitten, um, they're usually in quite high demand. So we know that people will go looking for um, buying kittens or adopting kittens from different places. So our checklist is a really, really useful tool. And if you just Google Cats Protection Kitten Checklist, um, it will come up at the top of your Google search. It's a really useful tool, as I said, um, to have a look at before you um, go and visit a kitten or before you find a kitten even. It's got some questions on there um, that you want to ask before you um, go and meet your potential new kitten. Um, it's also got some questions to ask and it's got some really handy little boxes that you can fill in um, with the answers to the questions so that you know that you've asked all the right information, you can take that information away and that you're really confident that the kitten that you're um, about to buy is healthy, is confident, um, you know, that you're, you're getting uh, a cat from a, a happy um, background. So things that are included on this kitten checklist, for example, questions that you might want to ask before you go to see the kitten include things like where were they born um, and also when were they born. So kittens shouldn't be rehomed until they're at least eight weeks old. Um, so these kittens that are here with us today are six weeks old, as we said. They will, uh, being at Cats Protection, they will um, have some vaccinations, they will have flea treatment and worm treatment. Um, quite a lot of the kittens here will also be neutered before they go home. Um, we recommend um, neutering from four months of age um, for all cats. Um, it can be done a little bit earlier, um, sometimes in the case of kittens that we rehome at Cats Protection, that can be the case. Um, but if not, we would send um, the kittens home with uh, guidance on when to neuter and how. Um, that's really important. As we said, these, these kittens, although mum's not in the pen with them at the moment, they are still um, with their mum. We've given her a little bit of time off while we do some filming. I think any mums listening will appreciate that. Um, so these kittens, uh, as I said, they're still with mum. They're still learning from mum. They are eating solid food. Um, they've got some dry food um, in the pen with them. They've got wet food. They've just had a nice lunch. Um, so we're just getting some energy out of them before they have their post-lunch snooze. Um, but yeah, there's various reasons why kittens really need to be at least eight weeks um, of age before they're homed. Um, but that's something that you definitely need to ask um, and make sure you clarify before you are considering buying a kitten. Another really important thing 
is to ask whether you'll be able to see the kitten with their mother. So, for example, if, um, if it's a breeder or if it's just someone who happens to have owned a cat that's got pregnant and they you know, want to um, send the kittens to good homes, you want to go over to see the kittens with mum. This is just um, purely to help avoid um, you know, buying kittens that may have been farmed or imported illegally, and sadly these are things that we know do happen. Um, and if you get to see them with mum, you can see that they've been um, raised correctly, that they're still either weaning if you're seeing them before you're um, rehoming them, or um, just to see that they've got um, really nice behaviour traits that they've um, developed from being raised with mum. Um, it's also good to know where the kitten was born and where they were raised, particularly um, during two to, week, two to nine weeks of age. Um, so these are the really key socialization weeks that we often refer to on these live streams. Um, so between the ages of about two weeks, um, before two weeks, kittens are pretty much tiny little potatoes of fluff. Um, they don't get up to an awful lot. So we say from about two weeks till nine weeks is a really key socialization period. And what we mean by that is that they get um, ideally exposed to as many of the sights, sounds, smells, people, other animals, children, um, and scenarios that they would have to deal with um, as adult cats in a domestic environment. So part of the uh, work that our um, volunteers do here and that the staff at the centres do um, when kittens are really young is that they get them used to, as we said, um, things like being handled, being stroked, um, as you can see, these guys are just having a really good play at the moment. Fishing rod toys are perfect for kittens. Um, we never recommend playing with your fingers because uh, they might seem tiny, but their claws are extremely sharp. Um, so fishing rod toys are perfect. It allows them to uh, exhibit their natural behaviours, their pouncing, their stalking, their hunting. <laughs> Having a go at Faye's apron now. <laughs> Doing that hunting behaviour. Um, yeah, so socialisation can include everything from that all the way through to getting used to being handled. Um, we also do lots of checks every time we look at the kittens, obviously to make sure that they are healthy, but equally to get them used to things like, um, as you can see, one of them is actually being groomed now. Um, but yeah, get them used to things like grooming um, and also going to the vets. So, you know, they're going to need regular vet checkups throughout their lives. And vets, you know, will be handling them, will be checking their eyes, be checking their ears, checking under their tails. Um, so it's really good for them to get used to those sorts of things at this impressionable age. Um, because after that sort of eight or nine week um, period, it becomes a lot harder to, um, to teach them things and to get them used to things that they might not have experienced as kittens. Another good thing to know if you are buying a kitten is whether it has any siblings. So like these guys, you can see the whole litter. Um, and it can often be quite surprising because litters can, litter of kittens can come in all um, fur colours. They can, all the cats can look completely differently, completely different. So as you can see, the boys in this litter, black and white, and the girls are tortoise shell. Mum is actually black and white. So, um, you know, it can, uh, the fur colours aren't often um, indicative of which litter cats are from. So it's really important to know um, if they've come from a litter and how they are at interacting with their brothers, sisters, their litter mates. Because um, a kitten that's been raised alongside other kittens is more likely to have learned appropriate cat behaviour. Um, and it may help if you're looking for a cat or a kitten that can live with other cats. Um, not a lot of people know that cats, particularly domestic cats, are um, they're evolved from um, the African wild cat, which is actually a solitary species. I think a lot of people often think of like big wild cats as kind of living in um, packs or ro like kind of um, living in communities. And a lot of people, a bit like dogs, think that cats really need company um, in the form of other cats or animals. But actually, for most cats, we find that they're perfectly happy um, on their own, doing their own thing. They're very independent, as I'm sure lots of cat owners will know. We've got a potential escapee out the back there. Thank <laughs> you, Faye. <laughs> um, this should be called Kitten Watch, not Kitten Cam, because these guys are constantly trying to escape. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you say, if, if you are looking to, um, to potentially home more than one cat, it's a really good idea to get kittens from the same litter, um, because 
uh, as we know, they already know each other, they're already familiar with each other, and they're more likely to be um, bonded later in life. Um, you can tell um, if cats are bonded um, in terms of the way they interact with each other, so if they rub up against each other, if they groom each other, um, then that's a really good sign that um, they're really, com really, really comfortable with each other. Um, a lot of cats will just tolerate each other, um, and sometimes it's hard to know the difference. Um, but we often get people asking the question like, oh, I've got an older cat, particularly like when cats are getting, you know, sort of into their senior years, like 14, 15, 16 years of age, and they start slowing down, and people think, oh, I, th I think they're a bit lonely. You know, maybe they've had two cats, and one of them's passed away, and they think, oh, maybe I should get them a friend. Um, we would really recommend in that situation not getting another kitten um, because the likelihood of a, a senior cat who probably wants, who probably wants to slow down um, and chill out, um, having a tiny uh, ball of chaos being introduced to its life and them actually getting along um, is quite slim. Um, that's not to say it doesn't work for, for all cats and all animals, um, but we just like to be realistic because the last thing we'd want is, to, is for people to get um, pets and... Uh, them not to be comfortable in their home environment. <laughs> the fishing rod toys are a real hit today, aren't they? They're having all the chaos. And I don't know if you can see, but the amount of cardboard boxes in this playpen um, is ridiculous. These Felix food boxes that we've got are just perfect. Safe for kittens, but also for cats. You can um, scatter food inside them. You can put ping pong balls inside them. It's really good for their... Um, for like mental stimulation, um, and it's something we call, it, call enrichment. Um, so it could be feeding enrichment if you're using food and sort of hiding it in places like inside little boxes and things. Um, but also we know that cats just love to <laughs> play and sleep inside cardboard boxes. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced buying a nice luxury cat bed for their cat only to find out that they'd rather sleep in the box that it came in, but um, I definitely have experienced that. <laughs> So another couple of things that are on this kitten checklist that we um, that we have on our website is there's questions that you can ask when you actually get there. So say you're going to visit a kitten for a first, the first time and you're thinking about getting, um, buying them um, and you want to make sure that you're looking for the right things when you actually get into the home. There's a couple of key things you want to ask and a couple of key things you want to look out for. So. You really want to make sure that the house or the environment that the kitten's being kept in is clean, um, that they have food, water, litter trays, beds, everything that they could need within easy reach, um, and that they've got just enough space to kind of be kittens. Um, and as we said, and the other thing is um, seeing them with mum. So it's really important to ask if you can see them with mum, um, you know, as well as on their own. Um, and also to be able to interact with them. You know, if you're going to potentially be taking a kitten home, you want to know that they are happy to be stroked. You want to know that they are happy to be interacted with um, and all those sorts of things. So um, pick up the kitten. Um, you know, be gentle. Be, um, let them kind of come to you on their own terms if possible. But pick them up and have a, a good look at them. Check that they've got a clean nose, um, clean ears and that their eyes are nice and bright and clear as well, because we often find um, that with kittens, eyes can be a really good sign if there's um, anything wrong. Um, things like cat flu and things can show up really clearly in um, eyes. So you don't want like a milky looking um, eye or weeping eyes. You want them to look really clear and bright to make sure there's um, no potential health issues on the horizon. Um, as you say, kittens um, do need vaccinating, but that often doesn't always happen um, before eight weeks of age. So that's another thing that you might want to ask is, um, when I take this kitten home, will it be vaccinated? Um, will it be neutered already? Um, most of the time, no, but that's fine. You can, um, that's something that you will take on as an owner is to get your cat neutered. Um, I have lots more information about that on the Cats Protection website. 
Um, yeah, you might want to find out if they're already microchipped. Again, usually they won't be if you're um, buying them at eight weeks of age or if you're getting them. Um, some breeders may do this, but um, it's definitely worth checking. And again, microchipping um, is super straightforward. Um, every vet will do it. Something to ask your vet as soon as you sign your kitten up um, to um, the vets. Um, and it's also worth checking things like what food they're currently eating. So as you said, all kittens need to be eight weeks of age before they're homed. By this point, they should be fully weaned from mum. So they might be on wet food, dry food, a mixture of both, and it's really good to find out what food they're on um, and potentially either take some home from the place you're getting the kitten from or buy some of that same food just to ensure that the, the transition to home is a lot smoother. You can obviously change their food a little bit later on down the line if you need to. Um, yeah, all just good things to ask. So as we said, the kitten checklist is on the Cats Protection website. Um, we will put a link in the comments uh, to this live stream. And once the live stream is saved to um, Facebook, we'll put, you'll be able to um, click on the link to find the checklist as well. And we actually had one question um, come in uh, through our Facebook story, which was um, about how to look after your cat's coat. Um, so it doesn't really differ from kitten to cat particularly, but grooming is a really, really good way, um, regular grooming, of keeping your cat's coat in good condition. Um, so that's one of the things we would get kittens used to between two and nine weeks of age, um, is being groomed um, with a brush, with a comb. Um, you can get grooming mittens now. Um, yeah, so just getting them used to being um, brushed, particularly for long hair cats, um, to make sure that they don't get um, any matted fur. Um, kittens do not need, kittens and cats, do not need washing. They don't need bathing. Um, they're really good at cleaning themselves. Um, so unless you notice that there's an issue and your cat has stopped cleaning themselves, which could be a sign of a medical issue, potentially, um, then you can kind of trust that your cat should be able to keep their coats clean themselves. It's just the brushing that you as an owner need to focus on. We're going for the ping pong toy now. Well, I think we're going to leave it there for now on Facebook. And we might hop over for 10 minutes to Instagram for a little bit more kitten coverage. Um, so if you are following us on Instagram, at Cats Protection, um, come on over and join us for a little bit more kitten fun. Um, and if not, we will see you same time next week for some Wednesday lunchtime kitten cam. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>